I always like Defender. And then there, there are also accusations. Uh, sometimes I do uh, redo a quest without showing me going through the eating process, and that usually results because I forgot something important, like changing some sort of skill on my armor set or something among the sort. Okay, we're not going to use this set. Uh, however, it should be pretty clear. It's like the previous set. However, I have baggy greaves and leggings and a rook charm. Let me show you. I'll just show you. There's just two fast charge duels, fast charge duel, and one in the helmet. But we're going to use something that doesn't require anything special. I think we'll just use the lance. And again, you should know this set up by now. Just plenty of expert charms or decorations and a good attack plus four charm. And like before, we're just going to go for the kill. I don't know. Oh, wait. <laughs> Oops. I should uh, probably restock, right? Yeah. Ah. Uh -huh. Okay. Uh, I don't know that I'll be able to break the jaw. I don't even know what the best weapon would be for that. Probably the hammer. I'll show it off of the hammer. Okay, I'm running kind of low on max potions. I'm running kind of low on potions, too. Um, that should be fine. And this is generally the best lance against him. He takes fairly decent dragon damage, especially to the face. And in general, dragon damage, uh, dragon weapons have amongst the highest raw damage in the game, at least in low rank. Of course, a big modifier for damage is the sharpness of the weapon. Uh, the Ergon and Diablos weapons generally have higher raw damage, uh, but oftentimes their sharpness is a lot less. Now, I already kind of went in and poked at the Ergon a couple times earlier, so I'm not sure if necessarily the intro cinematic is going to play. If that's the case, I'll just splice it in at the end when I'm showing his cinema anyways. Which is probably the most appropriate time to show it. And in general, fighting him in Area 6, which is where you would be fighting him, is really not preferable. Uh, he has this one attack where he spins around like a big pill bug and it does a ton of damage. Oh boy. Let's see if we can get these out quickly enough. What's he doing? Oh no! <laughs> oh man! <laughs> it would not be a gauntlet unless I blew myself up. <laughs> let's uh, let's start over again, Diablos. Let's be friends. Oh man! Okay, yeah, be careful of that tail. Uh, in general, uh, against the Dia uh, Uragon. I may have just called him a, a Diablos for that, I apologize. You have to be a lot more mobile with it, and you have to be a lot more hit and run than you would be otherwise. Uh, for, namely, first of all, because we don't have any guard boosting abilities. Guard plus one or guard plus two would improve our ability to counterattack through a lot of his bigger attacks. Uh, I don't have those. Well, I could if I made, what is it, steel armor? Chain armor? I forgot. I think it's steel. Gives you guard plus one. Uh, I didn't make it though. And his soft spot, the, the spot, we, spot we really need to be hitting is of course his stomach. So, in general, we're just going to wait for him to do an attack and hit us and knocking us into lava. And then after we regroup, uh, aim for his legs or underside. And now is a good a time as any to get some poison off. You only have to hit him three times, so if you miss with one, it's not a big deal.
and at the very least block the chin attack because the tremor can be blocked but um, ideally you would be in a position where you would be able to counter it and get an attack out even faster than you normally would. That's a bad idea. <laughs> Good. I got lucky there. Yeah, you really shouldn't be trying to counter his fire attack. You really want to block it normally. Although it looks like there's really no ill effects if you counter it. You have enough time to uh, guard again. Uh oh. That was fun. But in general, you got to be using your guard advance and your counter attack to make yourself more maneuverable to take advantage of his uh, uh, immobile state after he does that chin slam. Super slam. And again, that would have been something I really should have countered, but really not a big deal. I probably only gotten one more attack off. Oh wow, wasn't able to guard quickly enough. And kind of a uh, annoying thing in this area is that he oftentimes ends up in lava, and you really like need to be hitting him. But I guess that's a good time as any to start using your various recovery items or whatever it is you want to use. Oh no! I guess that wasn't a big deal. <laughs> he knocked me out of the way of the attack. <laughs> Thank you, Arachno. It's going exactly as we planned. Now, you'll notice there I countered. That's because I knew for a fact that uh, going into my normal guard state wouldn't have been fast enough. Counters come out almost instantly. So that should always be something you really get used to using. You haven't already. And I have a good number of videos where I discuss how to counter. Uh, I think a three Wyverns Arena. I discuss it a lot. Okay, I might get hit by this. No. Good. I was hoping that my last poke would have reached far enough. Okay, we're just going to block this so we don't get stunned, but we're actually not going to be able to get close enough to do any damage. Oh boy. You know, I've gotten hit by that attack uh, a number of times now. Kind of embarrassing. It's okay. At least I haven't had to use any max potions. I haven't been that stressed out yet. It seems like he's exhausted. Is he? Or is he just like not angry anymore? He's acting like he's exhausted. I don't see him drilling. Oh no! <laughs> Again, energy drinks. Always a good idea against this guy. Because you just never know if you're going to get hit by it. He was acting as if he was going to go to the next area. Oh, he's probably going to hit me. Oh, what the? I think I'm just so used to monsters being enraged at me that, like, I get really confused when they're not enraged. By the way, that little stone over there, that's the sort of stone that you're looking for when you're hunting for rust shards. You want it to be kind of a bluish shape. Oops. And as best I can tell, in general, uh, you'll either find either advanced armor spheres from spots like that, or you'll find rush shards. I think most people would prefer the rush shards, but then again, I guess if you have all of your dragon weapons, or at least the ones that you want, I mean, advanced armor spheres are always hard to get. Amongst the most annoying to have to 
get because once you get to high rank, it's like, you know, you really need them to start improving your sets again. I'm just going to wait for him to come out here a little bit more. I really don't want to fight him in that little tight corridor over there. Yeah, and again, usually I guess it gives you enough time to re-block again if you counter his fire attack. That's really good to know. So don't be afraid to counter it. Now, I was really, really hoping he'd like get exhausted soon. How much time would he spend? I guess under 10 minutes, that's not bad. Chances are so funny. Like, technically, they can cut tails, but <laughs> it does not normally happen. Look at guys like this. Uh oh. Yeah, that's the biggest downside of bouncing, is you're, you're stunned and there's really nothing you can do about it. There's like none of his attacks that can be countered without guard plus one, are there? Everything pushes you back. Uh-oh. I feel like I should like lay a trap for him. Oh, hey! Yeah, well, let's go ahead and do that. Get him in this pitfall trap. Play some bombs. Really not the best time to do it. Whatever. We'll get to the other side. Okay, because the upstab will bounce, we're just going to focus on evasion to... Oh, wow! <laughs> uh, well, let me finish that thought after I blow myself up. Uh, because the counter always goes into an upstab when you're uh, on ground as opposed to swimming, uh, using the counter cancel is probably not the most effective way to <laughs> hurt him when he's in a pitfall trap. Uh, nonetheless, did I get Carver? No. It's odd. Hmm. Maybe he gives four carves anyways. I didn't really count the carves. Let's count them. No. Well, we'll count them when we go back. Look at all those teeth. Imagine being Ergon's dentist. That'd just be a nightmare. Imagine Urgon trying to floss. It'd be even worse. He's got rocks stuck in his teeth for years.